Mm. I have not yet checked these shrines you're talking about, uh, but the comment that the lamp lighter g uh, gave you, welcome to the infected, Crow. Let me guess, has the sentinel dumped you here without a primer? I am curious if that's a jab to see if people skipped the NPE, because the sentinel is the guy that tells you to go and investigate stuff, and this guy's just saying, oh, so you skipped the tutorial. <laughs> nice. Okay, it figured. The infected worlds live just beyond the protective reach of the gods. Here you will fight other crows for control of this world. Three factions are being for domination, sun, moon and earth. I've arranged a library of scrolls to explain the basics. Ah, okay, and then you go through the... Ah, so that's what ah, all of these are for. read about outposts. You want to read something as well? Otherwise, I'll just go on. Absolutely. I can, uh, shall we take turns? Yeah, please. There are four outposts. There, there are a total of four outposts you can capture. Guard outposts, respawn outposts, camp outposts, and tower outposts. Camp outposts and tower outposts simply offer a small amount of points towards your faction score in the campaign. Guard outposts and respawn outposts offer additional benefits. Guard outposts grant an area to sacrifice items and accept the boon of a god. Respawn outposts allow you to resurrect at what could be a more strategic location. Nice one. Okay, I'll do the next one. Forts are larger and more valuable than outposts, but they use the same capture mechanics as outposts. Kill the throne room guards and stand in the circle around the throne to claim the fort. Forts can only be taken once a day, usually in the evening. There is a schedule located on the scoring tab of the, mini of the campaign map. This will which forts can be claimed and when. So this tells you which forts can be claimed and when. I think they missed a word or two in that last sentence. Yeah, that's fine. On test. Yeah. Keeps are the largest capture locations. They provide the most capture points, the best defenses, and a host of buildings that you can construct with building material. Keeps can only be sieged twice a week during a siege windows. Uh, these times are listed on the siege schedule tab of the campaign map. The building and walls of a keep provide services for your faction, but you'll need materials to build them. These materials can be earned via caravans or forts. Alright, next one. Keeps are not claimed like outposts and forts. To claim a keep, you'll need to plant a tree of life, which can be purchased from the ranger. Need the tree of life in any temple. To capture a keep, attackers will have to breach the walls with siege equipment, destroy the tree of life and plant a new one. They must do this before the siege window is over or the tie goes to the defender. During the siege window, three banewood trees will spawn outside the keep walls. If the defender destroys all three banewoods, the siege will end immediately. Yep. Yep, been there. Done that. <laughs> Keep walls can be built using materials. Do this using the war table located inside the Great Hall of the Keep. Buildings can also be constructed or rebuilt if destroyed. Use the signpost in front of each building to deposit the necessary building materials. Building materials can be acquired by transporting caravan animals from a quarry, mine, or mill to the caravansary building in your keep, or hourly collected from a fort. Yep, nice one. Two to go. Mm -hmm. Can't find the weapon or armor you're looking for? 
you might to consider visit a player made market in the eternal kingdoms from the lobby use the eternal kingdom tabs to view any kingdoms that are currently running and open to public you can also boot your own but don't be surprised to find it empty at first it takes time to build and establish a thriving player marketplace oh yeah I do appreciate that they're trying to encourage players to do it at least because trading uh, in profile yeah. right now is difficult and it will play such an important role so let's see this last one is about the dregs once you've had your fill of three faction warfare you might consider trying out the guild versus guild campaign the dregs these campaigns don't last forever like the infected they have a set duration, weeks or months, and, and at the end, one guild emerges victorious. You can enter the dregs as a sun, earth or moon faction player, but we don't recommend it. Use the recruit chat channel or the guild recruiting forum on crowfall.com to find a guild. You'll have a much better experience. Yep. Hey, last one about the embargo. Most worlds like God's Reach and Infected allow you to bring in and take your equipment, no, and take our item and equipment within without concern. The drag guild versus guild worlds are different. You have to use import tokens to bring items in and export items to take them out. Even the items you bring in will be locked there unless you export them. Once you lock a character to a Grax campaign, the items will have to be exported. You can do this by accessing the banking menu from the lobby. Yo! The lamplighter. So hopefully you have a better idea of what to do. Equipment that you are wearing will respawn with you. Everything else will fall to your corpse. There are no quests from this point on. You'll have to find your own place in the world. Be careful once you leave the temple. You can be attacked by other factions. Yeah, nice one. <laughs> 